come back with part 2 microbiology questions. Let's see one by one. So the first question is microbes manufacturing vitamins. Beta carotene is produced by Dunaliella. In body, beta carotene converts into vitamin A. It is helpful for good vision and eye health. Riboflavin is produced by Clostridium and Candida. Riboflavin is called vitamin B2. It is essential for formation of two coenzymes, flavin mononucleotide and flavin adenine dinucleotide. Vitamin B12 is produced by Propionibacterium, Streptomyces and Pseudomonas. Vitamin B12 is called Cobalamin. It is water soluble vitamin. And next the viral shapes. Bacteriophage is complex shaped, adenovirus is polyhedral, influenza is spherical, and tobacco mosaic virus is helical shaped. The tobacco mosaic virus is the first virus to be discovered. The virus shapes are based on their capsid shapes. And the ribosomes of prokaryotes and eukaryotes. 70s ribosomes are present in bacteria and archaea. It is synthesized in cytoplasm. It is subdivided into 30s plus 50s. And antibiotics inhibit their protein synthesis. And 80s ribosomes are present in eukaryotes. It is subdivided into 40s plus 50s. It is synthesized in nucleolus. And antibiotics do not inhibit their protein synthesis. And S represents the Swedberg unit. And coming to the flagellar surface, that is smooth surface flagellar called whiplash flagellum. Here it is unbranched and acute bend at their end. And hair like projection flagella surface is called tinsel flagellum. Here it is branched with many mastigonemes. Proteinaceous infectious particle is called prions. Abnormal folding of cellular proteins is to be observed. Major prion diseases are scrappy in shape, bovine spongiform encephalopathy in cattle, chronic wasting disease in deer and elk. Here degeneration of brain occurs and finally it leads to the death. Both differential and enriched media is blood agar. That is the blood agar contains the bovine heart blood. The differential it means it distinguishes between hemolytic and non-hemolytic. So the examples for hemolytic are streptococci and staphylococci. So while culturing, clear zone is observed due to RBC destruction. And here comes the selective and differential medium. Mekongi agar, mantle salt agar and EMB agar are the examples of this medium. The measurement of microbial growth by direct count are Petrofhauser counting chamber, flow cytometry, membrane filter and coulter counter. In Petrofhauser counting chamber, here the 25 squares were present by covering on mm square. The depth is 0 0.02 mm. In flow cytometry, here the light scattering represents the number of cells in the sample. And in Coulter counter, it's based on their electrical resistance. So the particles are assessed individually. And in viable counting methods, the spread plate and pore plate, most probable number, membrane filter placed on agar medium are their examples. In most probable number, that is in MPN, it is the principle based on extinction dilution, inoculating the microorganism in growth of tenfold dilution. It is used for the assessment of water and food in related to their quality. So in continuous culture system, hemostat and turbostat are used. So the difference between hemostat and turbostat are in hemostat the dilution rate is constant and culture volume is also constant. In turbostat it is related to their cell density. Dilution rate varies. Photocell it measures their turbidity. Minimum, optimum and maximum growth temperature are called cardinal temperature. 
here comes the anaerobic bacteria that is anaerobic bacteria lack mitochondria so it doesn't require oxygen if it present it dies so the reducing agents used in anaerobic medium are thioglycolate or cysteine the bacteria communicate with one another in mechanism of quorum sensing so bioluminescence plasmid transfer biofilm formation are regulated by the signal of n acetyl homocerine lactones vibrio fishery which produces bioluminescence in presence of their signal and for plasmid transfer agrobacterium tumefaciens and biofilm formation example pseudomonas aeruginosa here comes the membrane filter membrane filter is used to remove the vegetative cells but not viruses it is made up of cellulose acetate cellulose nitrate polycarbonate and polyvinylene fluoride so the diameter of pores in membrane filter is 0.2 mm next the generation time population doubles in number during their specific length of time it is called generation time so for eukaryote the generation time is 0.35 minutes protein synthesis it takes place in rough endoplasmic reticulum and the lipid synthesis it takes place in smooth endoplasmic reticulum so next the circular chromosomes it is found in bacteria and archaea but in some bacteria linear chromosomes also found for example borrelia streptomyces and agrobacteria so during replication no free end of dna is present in prokaryotes and it replicates faster than eukaryotic cell and in linear chromosome it is found in eukaryotes here during replication it consists of two ends in each side more dna is to be packed tightly it encode more information into a single cell so at last the virus aid that is it is satellite rna covalently closed circular single strand rna so for completion of replication cycle helper virus is used for example the human d virus aid it uses the hepatitis b virus as a helper virus virus the best studied virus aid is human hepatitis d virus aid for more videos please subscribe our channel thanks for watching